We have Gloden Mulally here, a wide receiver from Moncton, New Brunswick. He's going to be representing Canada this upcoming January at the International Bowl in Arlington, Texas, as a member of the National Under-19 team. Gloden, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you so much for calling. <laughs> so, my first question is, how did you get your introduction to football? Um, that's actually a funny one, because the first time um, I... Like got introduced to football. I thought it was soccer because, um, like that's what we call football back in Nigeria. Like football is soccer. So I came here and my friend told me to come try out for football. So I went, and I found out that it's not soccer. <laughs> but then I was like, you know what? Like I might as well try it. Like I just wanted to try something new, and that was like three years ago. And since then, it's just it's changed my life. Football has been a huge like it changed my life a lot. So since that time, what teams have you actually played for? Um, so like I tried to play as much football as I could just because like I wanted to get better at it. So I played for my high school, which is Harrison Trimble High School. Okay. And I played provincial, so I played for Team New Brunswick. Okay. And, and so I played, I did that two years respect, respectively. Okay. And, and I actually um, got the chance to represent um, Canada last year in Florida for the U18 team, okay. a and I played, right after that, I played Mustangs League, which is like a senior league in uh, Moncton, okay. and now I'm playing for Katie Axman. Wow, what a journey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, with all the teams that you've played on, what has been the highlight of your career? Um, the highlight of like playing football? Yes. Um, the highlight of my career was definitely making, like, the national team, just because, like, when we played provincials, like, you would, like, a lot of guys got, like, called and stuff, and you wanted to be one of those guys, and I wanted to be one of those guys, and I remember, like, actually writing on a sheet of paper that, like, my goal is to make that my provincial, like, the, my second year going back to provincials, but, so, halfway through the provincials, I got hurt, so I lost hope, and I was like, oh, this sucks, and, like, I gave up on it, and, like, I was so done, but then I was actually at work and got an email that I made the team, and I just went off because I was just, like, surprised, and, like, I did not expect it at all, and, like, same thing now, my coach called me and told, like, my like my team coach, Coach Cummins, told me that I made the U19 team this year, and I was absolutely surprised because I thought the team was really made and I guess I was like just pretty much one of the late guys that got selected. So Gloden, who are some of your role models on and off the field? Um, I would say my dad. My dad because he taught me a lot like he definitely taught me never to like give up on something like nothing is impossible and he's not all he's, he's not always been there in my life but like he's just the time he's been there, he's always told me things that, like, changed my life completely and, like, told me, like, not to make the same mistakes he made and just, he was just, so he just would always tell me the truth. He would never lie to me no matter what. And my mom is a really, really hardworking woman and, like, she's just the best thing that's ever happened to me. Like, she hardly understands what's going on because just like me, like, she doesn't understand football or anything, but she just... <laughs> To her, I'm playing a sport and I'm doing like good at it and she just, she doesn't really understand what's going on but she tries her best to help as much as she can. And then I would say my high school coach helped me a lot. He definitely supported me a lot just through my process and like my process of getting better and all that. He just helped me as much as he could and um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as you said, you represented Canada last year in Florida at the North American Championships. Can you tell us what the experience was like for you? Oh, it was one of the best things that's ever happened to me. Like, it was really good because, first of all, I got to travel to um, um, the States and play football, which is, like, every everyone's dream from Canada, and compete against the best, like, at least some of the best guys from there. And it was just a huge pleasure, and compete like playing against guys, the best, some of the best guys from Canada too, was just a huge pleasure. And representing Canada is a huge pleasure, and just 
the atmosphere, the whole atmosphere was really organized and everything was just, it was really good. It was only a week, but it was the best week of my life that so far. <laughs> so you may have already answered this earlier, but where were you when you learned the news that you had made the national team for this upcoming year? I was, it was actually right after practice. Um, so we finished practice and my coach actually told me he wanted to talk to me later and I thought I was in trouble. <laughs> because I just, the way he said it, he just, I thought he was like something was wrong. So I went up to him and he was like, okay, relax, you're not in trouble. And then he told me the news and I was like, I was like extremely surprised. Like I did not expect it at all because like I just thought it was already, the team was already done and all that. And he said, yeah, like... I should email them and get contact with them. So what was your reaction when Coach Cummins told you the news? Oh, I, I was, I got emotional because I, I was just, it just, yeah, it was, just like everything I always wanted, just kind of happening. I, I got emotional, and my coach also got emotional just because he is like really, really emotional. <laughs> which, so yeah, it was, it was good. It was a good, really, like it was a huge pleasure. Loden, what does it mean for you to represent Canada down in Texas at the International Bowl? Oh, it means a lot to me. Like, it just, just like the fact that a lot of people are probably going to be watching the game, like, ho like hoping to be one of those guys sometime in the future and all those kind of things, like, just means a lot. Like, it's just a huge pleasure, like, representing a whole country in... Like, it's it's a huge pleasure. It's a huge pleasure. Especially in the States, playing in the States against one of their top, like, some of their top guys, too. It's just a huge pleasure. Loden, what is the thing you're most excited about, or or what are you most excited about when it comes to this year's International Bowl? Um, honestly, I just am more excited of, like, competing. Like, I just want to go and compete as much as I can, and just not let no, like not let any regrets at all. And last year it was really tough because I didn't like I was still kind of learning football, but like I was like I knew what I was doing and all that, but I just didn't have as much experience. And now I just have more experience, and I just am excited to like go out there and um, compete. Like just I'm just excited for that. So now you said in the beginning that you did play soccer, but did you play any other sports growing up? And if you did, what were they? Um, I didn't, I don't know if it's a sport, but I did karate. Oh, okay. <laughs> and um, I did that for a while. Like, I did, actually did a while of playing soccer, but, like, um, it was it was actually really hard because our coach would make us, like, run in the morning and stuff like that. And, like, we would be like, why are we doing this? Like, we're supposed to be learning how to fight, not how to run and stuff. And, <laughs> and yeah, that was pretty much the only sport I actually, like, officially played I, in soccer. <laughs> Gloden, what is your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food is um, rice and stew. Stew. That's my because my mom makes it all the time and it's just it nothing has the like carbs a, and nothing like everything. good home cooking from your mom, right? <laughs> yes, hell yeah. <laughs> so, is there a song or pregame music that you listen to to get you revved up before a game? Um, I like before every game. I always watch like Odell Beckham's highlight. Just because I just like the style, like his style of playing and just everything about him. Just because I just think, like he's a smaller receiver, and I just kind of look up to like how he plays and stuff. And I always, always like I, I can probably tell you every single play and every highlight that's out there about him. And I just watch his highlight every single time before a game. So okay. I just, yeah. So you don't you don't actually listen to a song or any music before a game. You actually. You actually watch Odell Beckham? Like, I listen to music sometimes, but, like, I don't, like, not, there's no particular music. I just, <laughs> but if there's anything I actually do, it's definitely watching his videos. That's great. My final question for you. Who or what is your all Madden team? Um, unfortunately, I don't really, like, play Madden that much, but when I do, I Pretty much big New New York Giants just as Odell. <laughs> <laughs> and if you ask my favorite team, if you ask my favorite team, it would be 
Same thing. You can hear giant just because of Waddell. So. <laughs> Thank you, Glowden. Thank you very much, man. That was Glowden Mullally. He's a wide receiver from Moncton, New Brunswick. He will be representing Canada at this upcoming January's International Bowl in Arlington, Texas, as a member of the national under-19 team.